Texas opens up spring practice this week, and depending when you're watching this video, they may already have one or several practices under their belt. And quarterback Quinn Ewers, returning starting quarterback, going to be his third year as a starter, is one of the top quarterbacks in the SEC and all of college football. So I want to take a few minutes and talk about what we want to see from him during spring practice and then break down some film at the end of the video. There, there, there's some stuff I want to go through that I think he has the potential, the talent to do, but I want to see more of. So with that said, let's talk Quinn. Let's talk about what we want to see during spring practice, right? Like we talked about, he's the third. This is going to be his third year as a starting quarterback. His first year as a starter, he had a competition during spring ball with, with Hudson Card, right? Yeah, first year as a starter, they had a competition. Second year as a starter, he was the guy, but there was all the Manning hype. There was this Manning going to come in and take it. So while there may not have been a competition from the inside, there was probably a competition from the outside looking in. So that was some pressure. And then this year, there's even more There's more Manning hype uh, around everything. Is Manning going to take his job? Can, 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 can Quinn hold on to his job? Is Did Quinn hold the offense back last year with Worthy and Mitchell after they ran all these times, which I think is ridiculous. I don't think he did by any means. But you have all this stuff going through, right? So there's a lot of, I think, kind of mental toughness that Quinn's been able to develop, uh, and it kind of starts with spring practice. But number one, I want to see him healthy. Stay healthy. You're already the guy. Just develop and continue to get better. Number two, build rapport with your new transfer wideouts. You had several NFL guys you were throwing to this past year, right? Obviously worthy. Mitchell, Sanders, a tight end, Whittington. You had several guys throwing to even Brooks out of the backfield. You were getting the ball to him. So you were surrounded by NFL guys. And you got more guys coming in with NFL talent, but you still have to build rapport with them. And you've been doing that through the offseason. Uh, I'm not sure if all the guys or some of the guys are there, but you've still been a bit, you've been building rapport with receivers in the offseason. Now you do it with pads. Now you do it with a defense and pads. So it's just kind of that next that next step that you want to see. So stay healthy and build rapport with your new transfer players. And you also want to continue to improve on the areas that you improved on last year. His accuracy was a big deal, and he took a big step last year. His completion percentage in 2022 was under 60. I think it was like 58. I don't have the numbers right out in front of me, but it was kind of 58, 59 ballpark. And then last year in 2023, the completion percentage was right under 70. I think it was like 69. So it bumped up by more than 10%, which is a, it's a huge increase. So you saw him improve last year. So you just want to continue to do that during spring. Another area that he improved on and people are going to want him to improve more on uh, is pushing the ball downfield. They always use the, the metric 20 yard plus throw in the air, which I get it. And you want to see the ball thrown down the field more. I think he was like ninth in the Big 12 or something. But he still improved in that category. In 2022, his yards per 10 for 7-something, like 7.4, I believe. This year, was, it was 8-something. Uh, I don't have the exact number in front of me, but it was over 8. So, you know, let's call it a yard, give or take, of improvement, which is a pretty big deal. But you still wanted to see that continue to push the ball downfield. But at the same time, I think understanding Sark's offense, that that doesn't always – he doesn't always call for, for that, I think. Yeah, if if the defense shows that, sure. But when you have receivers like Worthy and Mitch like you had last year, sometimes it's best just to get them the ball in space. They, they throw the ball behind line of scrimmage a lot. So even though they didn't take the shots last year, I still think they ran Sark's offense. And a lot of times they didn't necessarily need to. But it can still be an area of improvement that you want to see. And then the last kind of area that I want to see, and we're going to look at some film here in a second, is I want to see him drive the ball. He has the arm strength. that I've talked to several. Guys a lot smarter than me, quarterbacks, D1 quarterback coaches that are a lot smarter than me that talk about his arm strength. But sometimes you don't necessarily see it on film. Sometimes you see the ball float a lot. Sometimes you see the ball, he just kind of like will sling it. So I don't know if it's pressure. I don't know if it's just because Sark does such a good job scheming up open receivers that you don't need to drive the ball all that much. But I still want to see it, right? I, I, I still want to see that happen. I still want to see you step in your throw and just let it rip in the middle of the field. And he's done it. He has the ability to do it. We're going to look at it in a second. But I want to see more. Of that. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at one clip here. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Then okay, we'll pause it here. So we're going to see. Can y'all see this? Maybe not. We're going to see Worthy. Uh, not Worthy. Excuse me, Whittington. You can see the green arrow. He's running like a little little dig glance route here uh, against Alabama. This is fourth quarter, I believe. It was a big time throw. We're going to see him run that kind of gl glance uh, dig route in route, and we're going to see Quinn step into the throw pretty good here driving it down field. So I, I want to see more throws like this. Like he has the ability to do this. We see Bama just brings three. Uh, we're going to see right as the, as Whittington's going past the DB, the ball is already getting thrown out. Like that's a good anticipation throw. That's a good throw with velocity. And you see that he throws it kind of sits Whittington down. So the DB on the other side of the field doesn't come and, and, and make a interception or blow up the play. 
So these are throws I want to see more of. I think he's got all the talent to do this, uh, but for whatever reason, they just haven't featured it. Again, Sark's offense, you get the ball out quick. He schemes receivers open. Sorry, I'm trying to get a different angle here so y'all can see. I apologize. Uh, but Sark schemes open receivers as, as good as anyone, if not better than anyone. Uh, so sometimes you don't always need to make these type of throws. You have to rip it and really drive the ball with some velocity. I still want to see some more, right? Good job in the pocket. And he steps into his throw there, and he's able to sit Whittington uh, down before the safety gets there. Is this in, let's see. Yep. Yep. Able to sit him down. So a good, good, good throw with velocity. So maybe it's just a personal thing to me. Let's see. I'll move this down. Or maybe it's just like, um, uh, like an appeasing thing to me. Like I like seeing the ball with velocity. I like seeing you step into your throws. Uh, but that's, uh, I think kind of the next step for, for Quinn. I think the arm strength is there, but sometimes it gets questioned at times just because he doesn't necessarily drive the ball because of pressure, because you get the ball out quickly. But with that said, Spring practice, I think it's a great time to take that next step to continue to improve. Um, and then with spring, with spring, the spring game, don't really care all that much as long as it's not a, a disaster. There's always going to be a Manning hype. There's always going to be people talking about what Quinn could or couldn't do or should have done last year, whatever. That is behind you. Now you are moving moving on. I thought it was great last year that he took those steps. I thought he showed a ton of improvement last year in 2023. So I think that's all you can ask for. Like you, you can't just hit the ceiling in one year. If you do, then you're not going to be able to continue to develop. So I think if you're a Texas fan or just, just you keep up with college football in general, I think you have to allow room for players to continue to develop. Like year one, Quinn was here. Year two, Quinn was here. This is year three. You'd hope is that he's here. And if he's not, then then maybe the Manning hype and maybe all the question marks are are justified. But with that said, Texas fans, what do you want to see from from Quinn? What do you think about the little film breakdown that we showed again? There's this one clip. Uh, can't show too many too many clips of film here. I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. But there's this one clip kind of demonstrating the potential, the ability that he does have. I just want to see it more. But Texas fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And again, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, like the video, share. We're just a big quarterback hub. We talk all things quarterbacks a lot of college quarterbacks and sec quarterback content so again thanks for watching like share subscribe we'll see you next time peace